my response to a tweet. And today's tweet says, the Democrats debate will show that they can't match up or win against our front runners. This Democrat debate will show that they can't match up or win against our front runners. This one is going to be very, very interesting. And here's my response to this tweet. You're getting this debate thing all wrong again. Just like I do with the Republican debates, you have to look at this debate for not about what they're going to say. But what does it say about us? You have to acknowledge for you to ever have a chance of beating the Democrats, which I like to call them the freebie crats. That's going to be the hashtag, freebie crats. In order for you to beat the freebie crats, you have to see what it says about us as the American people, as a whole. Not just the conservative Americans or the Republican side, where you feel confident the victory is going to come from. But you have to l listen to this debate to what it says about us. And what this debate is going to say about us is that half of the country is willing to vote for these guys. They're, they're sitting there, we're about to listen to King and Queen Freebie. And half of the country is willing to vote for them. That doesn't equal a slam dunk, people. I am watching conservative parents that raise their children under conservatism argue with their children because their children want to support Bernie Sanders. That doesn't equal a slam dunk. What if a parent has four kids of voting age that you sent to college to these liberal institutions and you raised them under conservatism and they're arguing with you? The case for Bernie Sanders. That doesn't equal a slam dunk, people. Hillary Clinton is murdering Americans and supporting Planned Parenthood. And half of the country is considered considering voting for one of these two guys. It's not a slam dunk. The power of free is something that is eluding you guys. It's eluding us. I'm not going to let it elude me. I see it. They're going to think about it from this standpoint, people. We have ISIS, terrorism. We have a debt that's through the roof. We have all these things happening. And half of the country is about to say, I don't care about ISIS. I don't care about the debt or anything. I will elect Bernie Sanders or Hillary Clinton. So if you take the mantra that any of our candidates is going to bring to the table against King or Queen Freebie, how does this equal a slam dunk? Donald Trump says, oh, I'm going against Hillary or Bernie. I'm going to build a wall and I'm going to make, and it's going to be free to the American people. The freebie people are going to say, wow, I heard the word free. Oh my God. That was, that was a good point. He said, didn't he say free? Yeah, he did. I'm going to make it free to the American people. Oh my God. It was free again. He said it. So that means it's free. I like free. The power of free, Donald Trump has their attention. I'm going to make Mexico pay for it. And it's going to be free to the American people. Okay, I got you, Mexico. Wait a second. Mexico, I, I like, but I did hear the word free. What do, you, what do you mean Mexico's going to pay for it? Is it going to keep the Mexicans out? Absolutely, because security is this and that, and I'm going to keep them out, and I'm going to make them pay for it. It's going to be free to the American people. And they're going to say, hold on a second, one second, one second. So the Mexicans are going to stay out? And then they're going to turn back to Bernie and say, um, Ber um, Bernie and Hillary, um, is the Mexicans, they're not going to be free to come into the country? Uh, what can you do about that? Well, uh, you know, um, I'm going to make it to where they'll be able to come over here free and go to school. And then and Hillary's going to say, well, uh, I'm going to do this. And he's going to say, uh, so that's what you do to get around this guy? And then they're going to leave Donald Trump and come right back to Mr. Freebie. What other argument are we going to make on our side? We're going to be free from foreign oil. Okay, the freebie people heard the word free again. Oh, free. I heard free. Free from foreign oil. Okay, free. I heard the word free. 
And then when you say, explain that to me. See, we're going to become energy independent and we're not going to be able to, because the money from foreign oil, it goes to fighting, it goes to funding terrorism and, and Hezbollah and the Palestinians. And, and, and we're going to not make sure they get money. They're going to say, whoa, 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 whoa. The Palestinians? I learned in school that the Palestinians are oppressed. Oh my God, hold on a second. Hillary, what are you going to do about that? He said he's going to, what are you going to do? I heard the word free, but he said he's going to stop the Palestinians and they're oppressed and, and they're, they got the, the Israeli boot on their neck. Oh my God, is there going to do something about that? Yes, I'm no ways tired. I'm going to be able to stop them from this and I'm going to make sure the Palestinians stay free. Oh my God. And then they're going to leave us alone and go right back to Queen Freebie. People, do you understand the power of free? Do you understand what liberals have been doing to us over the last 50, 60 years? Do you understand how much liberalism has seeped into our side? Half of the country is going to be listening to these people to pick out which freebie king or queen they're going to elect. And they're not like us. If Hillary doesn't get selected, they're not going to stay home. Hillary supporters are not going to stay home. If Bernie doesn't get selected, Bernie supporters are not going to stay home. Like on our side. See, because we have allowed liberalism to seep into our side. And we haven't been doing anything to win over the freebie crowd. Bernie Sanders is gonna, I mean, Donald Trump's gonna say, I, I got money, I got my own money, you know, I'm rich. Oh, rich, I heard rich. Uh, yeah, rich is supposed to grab my focus. Whoa, 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 hold on a second now. That's the wrong kind of rich. No, oh, man, I'm rich, I can do what I wanna do, and this and that. Hey, you gonna pay for my college? Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Hey, Bernie, you gonna, he said he's not gonna, that's rich. No, see, you gotta like me, see, because, and then, because I'll get the money from that rich guy. Boom, then he's going to write back to Bernie. Our guy's going to say what? Smaller government. We're going to be free from large government. Free is going to, the word free is going to attract them. But when we start breaking it down and what does smaller government mean, Bernie's going to say, see, well, let me tell you something about the smaller government. See, the, the larger the government, the more people I have to go take money from the rich to pay for your free college. And then, and then you're going to say, oh, you're... No, I don't want smaller government. They're going to write back to the freebie people. People, we don't have a winning strategy. Being free to say what you want to say is not a winning strategy against the freebie kings and queens. So you can watch this Democratic debate thinking that our candidates are going to beat them because they're free. Man, they don't care about the debt and they trained your children not to care about it. They don't care about the economy getting crashed. They trained your children not to care about it. They don't care about terrorism. They trained your kids not to ter care about it. Half of our country is considering this foolishness. This guy is an open socialist. Getting half of the country feeling the burn. This woman is an admitted liar, killer of Americans, stand down queen of the planet, and half of the country is considering electing her. It's not a slam dunk, people. It's not a slam dunk. It's not over. It's not hopeless. But do you understand what Hillary and Bernie is saying about us and we haven't prepared our side for that at all our front runners have so much ammunition that they have given to the freebie cracks and they have a voter base we have been functioning in separation. We have been disrupted against one another for six, seven, eight months now. And we still have people on our side saying, if my guy doesn't make it, I'm not going to vote. How does that beat these people who are going to coalesce around something free? 
You haven't heard one person say, if Hillary is not nominated, I'm not voting for Bernie. All you hear their side saying is what? Ain't no way in heck America is going to vote for a socialist. And all that's designed to do, since it's coming from the media, is to lull us to sleep and give us a false sense of confidence like it's a slam dunk. Again, listening to the liberal media that we know doesn't like us and doesn't like the America as we know it. They have been protecting the fundamental transformation of our country and participating in it for the last 50 years. Functioning in the open for the last eight. And then now we have an admitted socialist and a crook getting half of the vote of our country. This is not a slam dunk, people. Hey, but this is my response to a tweet on the Phil Williams Show.